morning, beautiful people. I actually had a much better night. My voice. <laughs> I had a much, <coughs> I had a much better night's sleep last night, which was awesome. I feel so much better. The plan is to do about 13 miles, get to the alberge about 11:30, 11:45, 12 o'clock at the latest. Municipal alberge. I think what a lot of the alberges do is they basically they reserve maybe 30, 40 percent of the beds, and then the left, the remaining beds are for people who turn up on the day. As long as I'm there relatively early, before 12 o'clock, I should be good. So much colder today and I really have made an error. I'm wearing my shorts, I should be wearing my leggings. I also feel as though I need, excuse my voice, another layer on top. But I keep thinking, just keep walking, you'll get warm, you'll get warm. The path at the moment is very like sandy, gravelly, so it's actually really, really nice walking. And you can see how it stretches ahead, cuts through the field. Very beautiful walking, especially I love it when the paths are this wide. About six miles in, it's about nine o'clock in the morning. So making a really good progress, <clears throat> apart from my voice. the beautiful town of Granon. It's about, I've done about 14 miles. So this is where I'm planning to stay tonight. Just gotta to find the alberge. Hospitality, the Pagrinos. So we've just done a check-in down here. Walked up these stairs and then this is the area. So which bed would you choose? Um, as you probably know, I don't really like being that close to people. So it's actually quite uncomfortable. Um, so I think I'm gonna go for this bed right here. Then I only have one person on the other side of me instead of two. Like I couldn't sleep in the middle here. Like no, having two strangers next to me either side. No, not happening. I'm honestly not that sure how I feel about staying here tonight. I think partly because I'm just not that religious. And the lady was saying, you know, we don't we don't do stamps here. We do hugs. I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I gave her a big hug, fine. And then someone else was like, I want a hug as well. So I was like, gave him a big hug. A little bit weird, but trying to be open-minded, see what happens. They're like, so we all, like, we all cook, cook together later on tonight. Great, fine, no problem. She's like, you like cooking? I was like, no, oh, you don't get wrong. Happy to wash the dishes, but I don't think you really want me cooking. But I have explained gluten and dairy free. So now I feel obligated to eat the food because I'm obviously going to prepare something a little bit separate for me. But this is the little town. This is the square. Uh, that looks like a little cafe. Let's go check it out. So one of the challenges of say eating in like the little cafe is everything is bread based. So it's like all the sandwiches, it's either it's either got gluten in or dairy so it's literally like looking along can't eat any of that so 
Oh, this felt a bit awkward, and I don't want to start having. Are you weight free, gluten free? Because it's just like, no, don't be awkward. So there's nothing really much to do. Um, I don't really know what to do with myself. It's not hot enough to sunbathe. It's actually quite cold out. It's about 14 degrees, so I don't want a nice lolly. And I think I'm going to go watch Netflix and get into bed. Let's go back to the. I mean, to be, to be fair, it is actually very welcoming inside. It is very nice. I don't know if there's going to be like a communal praying thing. Do you know? <laughs> we'll soon find out. We'll soon find out. So today is going to be interesting because there was no Wi-Fi in the church, which is fine. I can go without Wi-Fi. I wasn't able to do much planning at all, to be honest, or book any accommodation. So today we're playing things very much by ear. Let's see how we feel. Let's see how far we walk and let's just see what happens. I've also only got 20 euros in cash left, so I do need to find an ATM at some point. I'm walking through this super gorgeous, cute little town. Lots of street art everywhere called Bellarado. Problem is, I've already done 10 miles and it's 10 o'clock, which is awesome. And I quite would like to stay around here, but stopping at 10 o'clock in the morning just seems wrong. It's like too early. And a lot of the alberges don't um, open until one o'clock, so I don't want to not do anything for like three hours. So do I just carry on walking? I don't know. Oh my god! And the, all the bread smells amazing, and croissants, and don't look at it. Don't look at it. Keep walking. More street art. So coughing up gross bits of phlegm, which is really disgusting. So I'm not sure if I'm actually ill or what is going on, but it's like yeah, really right deep in my chest. 
and it's coming up and it's coming out and it is disgusting. Overshare, but that is what it is. Oh God, my eyes are starting to weep now. Oh, I can't stop at 10 in the morning. I mean, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I hate all food. I hate all shopping. I don't know what I want to eat. And I'm hungry. You'd be pleased to know I did get some inspiration in the supermarket. Crisps, salted peanuts, dark mint chocolate. What else? Oh, fruit. Apple, pear, two tangerines, some strawberries, some grapes. Boom. Oh, and an avocado. Good fats. So at least I have food in my pack as well. Oh, some nice bit of artwork coming up. Today is so much cooler than the past week and I think I'm just being, I, I've not managed to get warm at all today, even though I'm walking quite quickly, I'm trying to be brave and part of me is like, Sarah, just stop, put your leggings on, put another layer on, warm up, you'll feel so much better and then the other part of me is like, just don't stop, keep walking, keep walking, you'll soon warm up, you'll soon warm up because you know what will happen as soon as you put the extra layers on, the sun will come out, you're going to get too hot, you need to take your layers off. So just try and be brave, which is what I'm doing, but I'm cold, like cold in my bones. I need the sunshine. Come on, sun. Eleven at 32 and I've done just shy of 15 miles, which is good going. I'm going to go check out this albergue and see what it's like. Oh, da, 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 da. Let's go. It was full. <laughs> so apparently the next, uh, the next one is five kilometers away. Let's see if we have any luck with this alberge. Coming up to 11.55. See if they have room at the end. Yeah. Oh, any bed? Yeah, see, I can have this bed. Yes. Oh. Woohoo! Yay! Not in a month bed. <laughs> thank you, thank you. done a grand total of almost 15.8 miles 32,712 steps oh, oh, can you hear the name what's this one oh crunchy nice <laughs> 